not many can brag about surviving the impossible, be it thanks to their own strength and perseverance or pure luck. Get ready to hear some of the amazing survival stories which prove that, when everything else fails, we'll always have the unbeatable human spirit victorious amidst all adversities. Check out these incredible stories about the luckiest people who survived the impossible. Number 10. Tsutomu Yamaguchi Tsutomu Yamaguchi, among some 260,000 people who survived the atomic bomb attacks in Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II, became to be known as the only man who survived the horror of both and lived to tell the tale. At the time, he was working for Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and the day of the Hiroshima atomic bomb attack happened was supposed to be the last day of his three-month-long business trip. Reportedly, He'd been less than three kilometers from ground zero when the attack happened on the 6th of August, 1945. I didn't know what had happened, he later told the British newspaper The Times. I think I fainted for a while. When I opened my eyes, everything was dark and I couldn't see much. It was like the start of a film at the cinema before the picture had begun and the blank frames are just flashing up without any sound. He suffered serious injuries. He then returned to his hometown, Nagasaki, in order to receive treatment for his wounds. Unfortunately, he arrived just in time to become witness to the second U.S. atomic bomb to strike Japan. Despite the radiation-related ailments he suffered throughout his life, he lived to the age of 93. Number 9. Paul Templer Paul Templer was working as a tour guide on Zimbabwe's Zambezi River in the 1990s when a hippo emerged from the water and plucked him out of his canoe. He managed to miraculously escape its powerful jaws, but not without any consequences. He lost an arm and ended up with severe injuries in the process. It happened so very quickly, the first thing I knew I was in a deep, dank place with this incredible pressure crushing down on my lower back, he told the BBC. Although working as a safari guide for years, nothing could have prepared him for this. Allegedly, he was trying to save a friend who was knocked out of the canoe by this giant bloodthirsty hippo when the animal grabbed him and pulled him underwater. First, waist up in the hippo's mouth. When he finally somehow managed to wiggle his way out of its jaws, the hippo struck again, trying to drag him beneath the water. The battle lasted for some time and was not to be over yet. Just when the guides were trying to get back to land, the hippo returned and swallowed Templar's feet first. He described the second face-off as a dog tossing around a rag doll. The hippo retreated after a while, but the attack claimed the life of a guide and Templar's body was severely injured with over 38 bites. When Templar was taken to a nearby hospital, surgeons feared he would lose both legs and arms. Fortunately, they were able to save his right arm and his injured legs. After making a full recovery, Templar became a motivational speaker. Number 8. Frayn Selleck The luckiest, or unluckiest man depending on your perspective, Frayn Selleck, a Croatian who said to have survived a train crash, a plane crash, and a car crash. Imagine the scenes from your favorite action movies. Well, this man's seen it all. Until a fateful train trip in 1962, this man had led a relatively unremarkable life as a music teacher, unsuspecting of a series of impossible events were about to unravel. Nevertheless, he survived them all, even though during the process he might have lost some friends who started believing he brings bad luck. Fortunately, after several years, in the mid-2000s, Selleck's luck evened out and Selleck became a lottery winner. His jackpot was worth over 600,000 pounds. With this, he bought a luxurious home, only to have change of heart and sell it in 2010. He returned to a humble life with his fifth wife. Whatever happened along the way, Frayn's story is a happy ending. He spent the last of his winnings on his hip operation and on a shrine to the Virgin Mary and thanks to his good fortune. Number 7. Wenceslau Mogul in 1915, Wenceslao Mogul, a soldier of Pancho Villa during the Mexican Revolution, was captured and immediately stood in front of a firing squad. Mogul had only one superpower, but it surely was the only one he needed. He was exceptionally good at staying alive no matter what. Allegedly, he was shot ten times by the squad, followed by a coup de grace shot to the head delivered by the squad's commander. There's different stories on how he was rescued, whether he crawled away from the execution ground when the time was right or if he was found unconscious by other people who saved him. Nevertheless, the fact remains that he did survive despite being badly disfigured. He went on to live a full life with the nickname El Fusilado, or the Executed One, and he died around 1975. Number 6. Matt Souter 
There's a thin line between whether we could call some of our heroes lucky or unlucky people proved in the case of Matt Suter, who survived a 150 mile per hour tornado ride that launched him 400 meters into the air. It all happened in 2006 while the 19 year old was spending some leisure time in his grandma's trailer. The tornado hit, wrecking everything in sight. He barely had time to realize what was happening when he was sucked into the raging darkness above. The record for the longest distance a human being has ever survived being flung, initially held by a nine-year-old girl who rode a tornado for 300 meters, was broken by Matt Suter, who survived a wild 400-meter ride up in the air. Hopefully, no one will beat this record. The following stories will definitely reshape your understanding of the word impossible, so make sure you stay tuned. But before we move on, take a second and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Number 5. Roy Sullivan Roy Cleveland Sullivan was a United States Park Ranger in the Shenandoah National Park in Virginia. Between 1942 and 1977, Sullivan was hit by lightning on seven occasions and survived them all. For this reason, he's gained the nicknames Human Lightning Conductor and Human Lightning Rod. Sullivan is recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the person struck by lightning more recorded times than any other human being. He survived each jolt, but not unharmed. The first one only tested the waters and knocked his big toenail off. In 1969, the second strike burned off his eyebrows and knocked him unconscious. In 1970, another strike left his shoulders seared. The last jolt sent him to the hospital with chest and stomach burns, but also put him in the Guinness Book of World Records for most lightning strikes survived. In the end, when Sullivan did pass away, it was a self-inflicted bullet, not a bolt that ended his life. Number 4. Anatoly Petrovich Burgoski On July 13, 1978, Russian scientist Anatoly Petrovich Burgoski became the only person to ever stick his head in a running particle accelerator. He was a researcher at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protivna and was just checking a malfunctioning piece of equipment on the Soviet particle accelerator Synchrotron U-70 when he accidentally put his head directly in the path of the machine's proton beam. He reported seeing a flash that was brighter than a thousand suns, but didn't feel any pain when this occurred. Still, over the next few days his body, or his face to be precise, experienced some changes. It started swelling up and peeling off, which actually revealed the path the proton beam had burned through his face, changing it beyond recognition. Even though he received an excessive dose of radiation, he survived, and even completed his PhD. And we're not done yet. The most astonishing thing is that, when looking at Bergorsky now, you'll notice that the right half of his face is aged, while the left looks as if it was frozen in time 22 years ago. Go figure that. Number 3. Harrison O'Keen Harrison O'Keen, a 29-year-old cook, was the only survivor of the Jackson 4, which overturned after being battered by heavy swells in May 2013. Eleven other crew members died as the vessel sank some 20 kilometers off Nigeria's mangrove-lined coast. When the ship began to sink, Harrison managed to find a small pocket of air in the engineer's office. He'd been underwater for almost 60 hours when he heard a hammering on the deck. A team of South African divers scouring the waters on a presumed body recovery mission were shocked to hear faint hammering in reply. O'Keen was strapped into diving equipment then led to a diving bell which took him to the surface, where he spent two days in a decompression chamber. It was a pure stroke of luck that he survived for so long at such a depth it's no wonder that the news about how all of this happened soon went viral. Number 2. Eric Nurhus 41-year-old Eric Nurhus was casually diving for abalone shellfish off the coast of Australia with his son and a group of friends, when all of a sudden everything went dark and after a few seconds he realized he was actually having a pretty close encounter with a great white shark. Eric's head, a shoulder, and an arm were inside the shark's mouth and 3,000 teeth were biting down on his body. But Eric certainly wasn't one to become anyone's victim, not even to the most dangerous sea animal. What he did next was one of the most amazing and extraordinary things. He didn't surrender and he started poking the shark's eye with one free hand. Luckily, he managed to fight his way out of the shark's jaws and escape. He was pulled out of the water by his son and flown to a hospital with serious injuries to his head, body, and left arm. Number 1. Morrow Prosperi 
The story of Morrow Prosperi is yet another story of raw survival, almost impossible to believe. In 1994, Morrow decided to compete in the Marathon Disables, considered one of the toughest athletic events on Earth. The first three days went just fine, but the fourth day an unexpected sandstorm happens that changes the further path of our protagonist. Even though he lost sight of the other athletes, he kept moving forward only in the wrong direction, ultimately running several hundred kilometers into Algeria. After 36 hours of wandering, he ran out of food and water supplies, so he had to do the unimaginable in order to survive. He ate bats and drank his own urine. At some point, he tried to commit suicide by cutting his veins, but unsuccessfully, since the lack of water caused his blood to thicken and clotted the wound. So he did the only thing that was left there to be done. He kept on living and he kept on walking across the desert. After nine days in the desert, he came across nomadic shepherds who took him to a military camp in Algeria. His odyssey ended in the hospital, with a total of 15 kilograms lost and an amount of 299 kilometers in his legs. He'll later retell the story of his extraordinary journey in an autobiographical book, 10 Days Beyond Life. This certainly reshapes your definition of impossible, right? Which of these stories were you most shocked by? Let me know in the comments section down below and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content.